Welcome to Electronics and Projects. My name is Amish and this is my channel about electronics and projects. This is the first video that I've done on my channel so far and I really hope you guys will enjoy it. And if you do, please leave a like and here we go on with the video. Today I'm going to show you how to build an FM radio with snap circuits. There are a few kits you can use to build this and I have one of the biggest ones of snap circuits. This is the Snap Circuits Extreme Kit. With this you can build with this kit you can build over 750 amazing projects with these items over here and more items that are in the box. Okay. This is the battery piece which you use to create to give power to it. And you put this if you're using the same kit as me with this board, you put on B9 as a grid and then you start off using these wire pieces almost, they're like wires. These have different lengths, there's two, ones, twos, threes, fours, five, six, and then there's one seven piece, which I'm not using today. So over here we have these pieces, which are important pieces to the build, which are the electronics that make it work. This one, this one is an amplifier which you use to amplify the volume and things. This one is a 5.1K resistor. This one is a switch that slides. This piece is the FM module with T for tune and R for reset. We have the RV thing, RV piece that makes the wavelengths big and smaller. And then we have a C2 piece, which is a 1.1 0.1UF resistor. resistor and then we have a SP speaker because this kit separates them. Okay for this build which, uh, what the pieces that we're going to need are a 4, a 5, and 6 to start off with. These are the pieces you need to start off with. You also need to start off with your FM piece. So once you put your battery down at the section B9, um, right above it at the at A, A9, put the tip of your 6 so it lines up from A4 to A9, the pieces there, the 6 piece, and then you would put the FM module at A1 from A1 to C2. That's the location of it. And the five would go down here across from down three from the FM module at F2. It's where the top end would be. So it runs from F2 to F6. It runs from F2 to F6. And this four piece goes over on this. FM module connecting the FM module to the 5 and I'm just going to start off building the outer ring of wires on this so it's easier for everyone that's watching and you take a 3 piece put it over on top of the 6 connecting the 6 to the, the FM module then you would take a 2 these will be stacks of 2 put them on top and you would have to use a 6 volt, which are, you could either use 6 volt on this or two battery packs, uh, which come with it. This is I bought separately. And since I don't have battery packs, I actually, like, I have batteries for, I just put a 3 in replacement for them, and I have just enough pieces for that. If you don't use this 3 and you have to use two batteries, you have an extra 3 left over, just remembering that. And, and to complete this outer ring, you would have to take this slide switch, which I showed you earlier, and connect it right here, connecting the three to the minus part of this battery thing to come almost complete the whole circle. But that's okay, the gap here, because it's supposed to be gap because of the way that this circuit is made. And now we're gonna start filling in the center electronics in the middle. What you would do, you take the amplifier IC and U4 and you put it right here on B9 
B7. The top right corner would be on B7. Lower left corner would be on D6. And what you would, yeah, D6. And what you have to do to connect it to the FM module is take a C2 module, the C2 um, one U, 0.1 UF restrictor, and put it right here next to the amplifier on the FM module in between. So it runs from B3 to B5 is the length. And you would take a 2, connect it from the FM module, the middle piece on the FM module, to the C2 restrictor. And as I forgot to mention earlier, this one is an adjustable volume one. There are other ones that don't have the adjustable volume. But this one is adjustable volume, so you need the RV for this piece, the RV piece for this one. And to add on the volume thing, you first have to put down a piece at D5, at at D5 and D uh, E5 as a uh, up and down piece, so you can attach this RV piece to the amplifier in C2. After that. You would need to take your speaker, attach it at D7, yes, D7 on top of the amplifier, and on top of that three-piece, or the battery pack, minus, at F, F6, or F7. F7 is where it connects to, and from, it runs from F7 to D7. And then you would need this piece. You need your one. You need one one piece, and you would need to attach it at D D two or D three, and attach a three piece running from the five to the one, and an R three the R three five point one k um res uh resistor yeah right. And then you would put it on top of the D3 and B3 on top of the two piece and the three piece, which uh which has a the three piece has a one drop of uh, one piece put down at D3 also right here you can notice right here that one piece is what holds it all up in that area. And the way to connect this all is you put a two piece here. This piece, this part, the corner has a lot of two pieces. You take your last three piece, or for other people who are using battery packs, their second to last three piece. You put it right there on top of the left corner, left bottom corner of the amplifier, which is at D six. And also, this two piece is uh, placed at E five and F five. It's a length, it's a up and down piece. And then you place a two piece across a D six and D five, so it would cross over the RV. And also, you take your last two piece and you'd put it on top of. Your you'd put it on top of the amplifier at um B seven. Need one one of your few uh two pieces here on top of from F six F six on top of your three and five on and connected to F seven attached to your speaker and your three piece underneath or your battery pack underneath and then this uh, this would work if you have power running if you need if you have the battery packs you wouldn't need this wire but since I don't I have to use it and this is what gives it power for the six volts it need and needs and if you want to turn it on to like a radio station that you like to listen to, what you do is you would turn it on, and you hear uh, the squeaky noise, and then it starts playing a radio station. If you press R, you can reset it, because R means reset. 
and then T you can use and you, this is the antenna and you can use it find a radio station find me really quickly this is a radio station. The press T is how you find a radio station. The press R is to go back from to the lowest radio station, which is 88 MHS. Okay. So for this part, I found out that I, I was clicking around and I looked and I found a radio station that plays jazz music on it. Yeah. And you play jazz music on it. And this part I wanted to show you guys just because it's optional, it's only if you guys want to. If you take two one pieces and you get an electromagnet, just like the one that I found in my set, this electromagnet, it might not be in all sets that you get. I know it's in the Snap Circuits Extreme Kit, which is the one I have. Other people might have differently. If you attach it on the RV, on the two empty spots of the RV, and if you turn it down, you can tell the difference. It's way quieter if you take it off and then it's way louder if you take put it on and it gets very loud and this is the radio that I built thank you for watching my video and as I said in the intro this is the first video I've done yet on my channel so I don't have any more videos to watch sadly and if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button and if you subscribe turn on that notifications please the little bell icon next to it and if you guys subscribe and i hit 100 subscribers my dad will have a little workshop in my house that i can build like actual like circuits like without not, not with snap circuits but actual wires and extra electricity and other things and that would be that would be really fun and great. So thank you for watching and remember please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.